Isn't this adorable? It's a pink Mr. Stacky. <laughs> it's got one, two, three, four, five tiers. And it's got the tray underneath. I bought this like a year ago and I'm finally getting around to putting it to use. I'm gonna use it for the primroses I got on sale. I'm going to clean these up. As you can see, I got them $5 for six plants. I'm gonna take off the spent flowers, deadhead them, and transfer them into the Mr. Stacky. So the Mr. Stacky has um, four spots per tray, and there's five trays, so there's 20 spots. And I've got six primroses here and six in the other container so i've got 12 so i'm still going to have spots for eight more plants which i can definitely fill up easily because i went and bought some other plants from another store so i'm going to go ahead and get this going kind of cool it actually locks into place so there's this little notch right here and when you slide it this way it actually locks in so when you lift it up, the tray is secure. That's kind of nice. So I went ahead and filled up this bottom layer. And I'm going to start putting in the primroses. And the primroses I'm planting are like the domesticated type. I also grow the American common evening primrose. But those are huge. And kind of weedy, but beautiful. And the pollinators love them. But something this size would not work for those. But these are going to work really well for the little primroses I just showed you. As I'm taking these out, I'm taking off the spent leaves, but leaves that have just a tiny bit of damage, or like a tiny little hole, I'm leaving because they're still gonna do their job of photosynthesizing, and I know that a lot of people like want it to be perfect, but for me, I want the plant to thrive. It's, it, I do enjoy the beauty of it, but I'm not as concerned about a hole in a leaf as I am in the plant producing enough energy for it to live. So I'm going to kind of make a impression and make a spot for it to grow here. So you can see this Mr. Stacky is pretty small. And so I kind of took off some of this, the soil substrate on the top, which was over a little bit too high anyway. And I lay, I'm laying it on its side. I'm going to do that all the way around and then I'm going to cover it with soil. So it does have this extra space for roots, but it really is kind of a tight, compact area. And I'm putting whatever I take off of the plant into the bottom of the next layer. So far, so good. This is a really tight quarters. Like, I wish this was a little bit bigger, honestly, um, but it is what it is. And the flowers were six for $5, so I can't justify getting going and spending a hundred dollars on another tower um i think in the future though like i would want to plant a seed in those compartments it would just be easier to do it that way but for now you know what it is what it is so i very carefully put compost around all the the roots and filled it in and i'm going to carefully stack it i have to go off camera to do that so that i don't break off any of the foliage I did pinch back some of the foliage so that it will fit together nicely I went ahead and pushed it down into place so it's like kind of not locked in but it's set in snugly and you can see I did bury some of the foliage I snipped off and now I'm gonna put in the next set of flowers make sure there's really enough soil I kind of make like this indentation so there's plenty of soil here and then I rest it sideways a little bit on its side and then I'll backfill it once I have all the other flowers in place. So next what I have to do is kind of backfill soil underneath so these don't slip down and that will give them more space too for the roots to grow down underneath. So, so far so good. This one hasn't flowered yet. I have been pinching off any dead or spent flowers. So they're looking, looking better. Let's be honest, it's a messy job. It's almost impossible not to get some soil on the lower tiers as you're planting them. But as I get them in, I kind of press it down. And once I water it, all of that mess will be resolved. But now we're on to our third, third tower out of five.
All right, I'm making some progress here. This is the last layer of the primroses. Um, I've still got two, two more levels, which I might do something else in. Um, but one thing I was gonna point out is that, like this one here, I the leaves don't look great, but every single leaf has some kind of damage, so I can't, I can't take off all the leaves, then it'll just die. But if I let it grow, then more leaves will come from the center. And at that point, I can take out the outermost leaves, but for now, I have to leave them. And as I'm looking at this layer, this one looks worse, but this one here, the leaves are really limp and wilted. I'm just gonna fill this in, finish it up, and I'm gonna water them in. And I'm sure that it's gonna be fine, but between these two plants, this one looks better, but that one is healthier. Even though it had some sun damage, I bought these on the clearance shelf, which made, made it so I only spent $10 on all 12 plants, but they're not perfect. And I'm okay with not perfect. You know, there's, I'm not perfect. So to me, a flower or a plant doesn't have to look beautiful. It doesn't have to be perfect for me to see the beauty in it. Um, so some people will be like, not very happy with this. And I'm going to rinse this off and water everything in. It's going to look a lot better. One reason I didn't buy pink for a long time is because um, I'm concerned it will stain um, and it'll show the soil more. Like when I, when I reuse this again, it's probably going to be stained. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. You know, you only live once. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this in and then we'll see what we do next. I decided to go ahead and do these as two separate towers. I know they're, they're really short. Like this is, this is my feet. <laughs> okay. This is like not even to my knee. Um, if they're both on top of each other, it would be like mid thigh, I think. So I did all of the primroses and this one here, I watered it in. It's looking really healthy and beautiful. And then this one here, I went ahead and planted in with many different varieties, but I did two different kinds of plants. I did the geraniums and then I also did um, the fuchsias. But there's lots of different types of fuchsias in here. So this one's Alina. So, um, I'm not sure how big they're going to get and this is really each of these little pieces are like not even the size of a of a hand an adult hand um, but I like it like this honestly um, so I did the two stack here the three stack here so this is the pink one and then after I bought the pink Mr. Stacky I went ahead and bought a green one and so I divided this one into two as well um, I did the tray on this one here and then here I have these are all strawberries that I got for my youngest son honey eye and then I did get here I got some some sage this is maybe the tricolor sage um, or the purple sage and I have a huge mother plant in the back I could just be doing cuttings and propagating them but I wanted some different varieties so I've got a sage. When it gets bigger, I'll have to transplant it. But for now, it's fine. I did. So I have uh, seven strawberry plants here, four on the bottom tier, three on the top, and then the sage. And then here, I had more of the fuchsias left. So I filled in the whole thing with fuchsias. That means I got actually 13. So it was four, eight, 12. And then I put one more in the middle. So in that tower there, I have 13 fuchsias, all different varieties that they had for sale at Fred Meyers. These were only $1 per plant at Fred Meyers. So I was really excited about that. Whoa. So these definitely aren't as big as the, um, the larger green stalks. Um, but honestly, I was really tired after this project. So it's probably big enough for me. <laughs> Um, I do have some of the leaf stalks and the, the green leaves and all that, whatever they're called. Um, I do have some of those, but I have these plants here and I have these, and these containers were empty. The ones I have, I think I still need to empty them out and refresh them, but I got all these flowers planted, got all the strawberries planted and the sage. I got all these primroses planted and the geraniums and some more of the, um, of the, I keep forgetting the, the, um, the varieties it planted. 
I'm so tired, you guys. I'm so tired. Uh, fuchsias. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with these. And they really are for smaller plants. So if you get Mr. Stackies, I, I think in the future, like if I revitalize these, I'll probably plant seeds into them and just do like one seed per compartment. Maybe plant um, something kind of small, maybe like calendula some, or, or like pansies or um, small primroses like these are perfect. So I'm really happy with those. Hopefully you like that.